step in, please. Sir, what we know now is they are holding her just across the border. We have a unit in place to either take her at the house or en route when they move her. What branch? Forward detachment. Our guys. We should send in Devguru. You are 12 hours from making that a reality. My guys are standing by at the border now. No, no, we can't send uniforms over there. What's your level of confidence that you can be returned safely? It's high, sir. They do not have a tactical equal in Mexico, if they have one anywhere. How messy is this going to be? It's not going to be clean. Do you want it to be messy? I want it on television. And when we are done with it, we kick this to you. Um, our treaty with Mexico doesn't allow us to operate in that space, ma'am. No criminal organization is going to do something this reckless without the Mexican government being complicit. And the Mexican government would never be complicit without extreme pressure from an outside force. You think Russia? Well, it does fit their covert ops strategy, but they don't have the leverage to force something like this. It's China. We think that's a likely possibility. Why do you think so? It's an unusual move for them, but it clearly puts the president in a very bad spot. A U.S. military operation on Mexican soil, it's a political disaster. His own party's going to turn on him. The other side of the aisle, they will destroy him. Some form of Vietnam in this hemisphere shifts our focus from the east, and it drains our resources even faster than Ukraine. Now, China is Mexico's number one trade partner in crude oil and natural gases, as well as gold. So any military response to this on Mexican soil renders our opposition to a move into Taiwan as hypocritical to both NATO and the UN. And with Russia chairing the Security Council, China has free reign for a Taiwanese invasion with little to no consequences. Certainly not militarily. And our economies are too linked for sanctions. We feel the same way about it. We're increasing CI presence in Mexico, particularly special activities. We'd like to put your team in as well. Get a lioness on the ground or two. This all, of course, depends on a successful extraction. How soon do you think you can get somebody in place? At first, I would need to find a mark. Then I need to pull an asset or build one. This isn't, I need time. How much time? Can I have three months? <laughs> you can have three weeks. There was an election in November. I want trophies on the wall by the convention. Big trophies. What are my trophies? Well, the area of the abduction is the territory of Los Tigres, correct? Correct. We'll start with their leader. Find us intel connecting him to the Mexican government. Alliance isn't designed to gather intel, ma'am. We hit hard targets. All right. After you kill the guy, could you be so kind as to grab his fucking phones and computers and anything else that might have some fucking intelligence? You can't do anything but kill people. We can do it, sir. Can I have a Delta team? No Delta, no SEALs. You can have as many gray men as you like. Thank you. Joe. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Green, go get her. A forward detachment? A bunch of guys so cooked, they dive for cover when a balloon pops? They fight outside the lines, Joe. That's what you'll need. What I need is an SFODA. How is one line is supposed to eliminate the target in mine hard data? It's a ridiculous ask, and it's impossible to execute. You have a QRF. We'll place a forward detachment under your command. Linus hits the target. QRF retrieves the Linus. TFO mines the intel. Then TFO gets into a gunfight with the Mexican military. That's my problem. Your problem is a target. Meet up with the ground attachment in Del Rio and go find one. 